Good afternoon, Aggies, and welcome to Aggie Now. To start things off, we'd like to congratulate two of our very own UC Davis surgeons who traveled all the way to China as members of a week-long surgical mission trip to perform free cleft lip repairs on local orphans. This trip was organized by Love Without Boundaries, a United States-based nonprofit that has organized 12 humanitarian medical missions to underprivileged countries. The main goals of this trip were to assist medical professionals at the Kaifeng Children's Hospital in performing the surgery and funding the cleft and palate repairs, which is a procedure that corrects the facial birth defect, and to prepare and equip local doctors uh, to be able to perform the procedure. Again, congratulations to both of them and our medical team. That's awesome. You know, like, Coming out of high school, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do like oral surgery and like work on like cleft lip like and like oral anomalies. But I don't think Why? that's gonna happen. I don't know, well, because my mom's a dentist and like I wanted to be a dentist. I, part of me still does. So I'm taking like pre-dental prerequisites, but like that's what I wanted to do. That was right. like my goal, like to be kind of like a speaker and like a surgeon to kind of go around the world and do that. I wonder like how they like how they get all their money and then how they choose like which babies they want to like do the yeah. surgery on because I'm sure there's like a lot of babies like that have that and so I wonder like what how the process of yeah. that. So along with trying to become a Hispanic serving institution HSI, UC Davis will be participating in the Pathways to Prof Professoriate and Nationwide Educational Preparatory Program. The program receives a $5.1 million grant from the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation to prepare 90 students from Hispanic serving institutions for PhD programs over a five year period. The program consists of attending conferences, intensive summer research programs, and receiving mentoring from the faculty and staff participating in the Pathway to Professoriate. The overall goal is to increase the number of Latino, Latina, Latinx professors in the humanities at the U.S. colleges and universities. Okay, so I think it was like a really cool thing, but as I started to do more research, I started noticing that it's 90 students, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really cool, and it's over like seven schools that they're doing this, but it's 90 students over seven schools. So like, let's think about how much students are actually going to be partaking in this. Yeah. And then I thought of UC Davis and their attention rates for Latino, Latina, Latinx people is 38%, and that's ridiculously low. Yeah. So then I started thinking like, <clears throat> Is it, like, it's great, but how much impact are we really going to see? Because if it's 90 students over 70 college, that's just, like, a little bit more than 10 students exactly. per college. And, mm -hmm. like, how many students are in each college? Like, thousands. Mm -hmm. I mean, despite the, like, dispersed nature of the program, I do think it's a step in the right direction. Yeah. Because yeah. outside of sociology, I've had, I've yet to have had a Latino, Latina, Latina X professor at this university. Um, which means that that community is underrepresented by our staff. So getting more professors from this community, you know, into our staff, it helps people feel like they belong here. The school year might be coming to an end, but that doesn't mean that our busy schedules slow down. I know y'all are out scoping for internships and summer jobs, so listen up. Blow them away with your intelligence and skills while impressing them with your style game. So here are some tips to make sure that your interview OOTD is on point. For me, I think like, I was thinking about it from like maybe what I would wear too, in terms of like, kind of like best tips for how to dress. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's like a rule when it comes to specifically suits. So um, navy and charcoal, those colors for suits are safe. You can pretty much wear those with anything. Gray and brown is kind of when you can mix it up. So if you have like a gray blazer or a brown, like kind of like pants, uh, pant and suit, um, it's really, really fun to kind of use. And also you can do it in different shades. Um, and then if you want to go a little kind of like experimental and try a little bit of different things, you can wear kind of like really colorful blazers or like pattern shirts or really interesting ties, kind of like that duck yeah. tie behind you. <laughs> Those are really, really fun to um, I, I think uh, play with. an interview is probably the wrong place to go experimenting though. Like, what? Yeah, an interview, you definitely, okay, so for example, like uh, they'll throw up a picture on the screen of a haircut that I got last year right before a successful interview. Um, I got that haircut because <laughs> I just wanted it to be short, to be clean, and to look sharp, right? Because you just want to look like you're simple and you have everything in control, right? So you don't really want to look like you're wearing fancy colors or you're trying to be adventurous. You just want to look very contained and professional, right? Maybe a year later you can have a little bit uh, more. I mean, there are different interview styles, yeah. sure. I, if you're going to get a haircut, I would do it at least a week before. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh <laughs> for my any, god. Like for any special occasion, Super. don't yeah. get a haircut the day before yes. because what Note happens this. is yeah. Go back to your point. Um, you know, being able to kind of like creatively express yourself through style, I think, is really important, and it depends on the job. Like, yeah. for it example, does. right? Like, there's media and and creative jobs where it's okay to dress up in more colorful mm -hmm. um, selections because they want to also see your personality through that. Yeah. Um, and even understandable, like HR jobs, maybe business jobs that y'all are looking for, it's important to look clean. But adding some personalization, like maybe throwing on a watch that's your favorite, or adding a ring that adds some personality to you, will make you also stand out because there's a difference between that kind of like looking clean and getting it together and looking confident and knowing that this is who you are and this is what you want to be wearing. Now for the no, get ready because tonight Entertainment Council presents their fourth annual Lawntopia. Lawntopia starts at 645 at the MU Quad. And of course, it's free for all. Who doesn't like a free show? And the headliner is Mako. So have you guys been to Lawntopia before? I haven't. Yeah? Is it no. pretty? Have you? Is I've it never pretty been. Good? Yeah, I, I didn't think it was like a big deal. It was last year and I was the uh -huh. second year. And then my cousin, he's older, he was like, I'm gonna go to La Antopia. I was like, what's that? <laughs> he's like, <laughs> it it's at Davis. What and, is that? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, and there's like giraffe or... Giraffe? Giraffe, giraffe rage? I don't know what they're called. Uh -huh. They're like an ED. Is it giraffe oh, Okay, I don't know. I think I, think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. We watched them, but oh. I'm not really into like EDM, so it's kind of like lackluster for me. Oh, but. Well, I know that like this year, just looking at the event page and stuff, like people are hella excited because of Mako. Like, yeah. I think people are really, really excited for the headliner this year because they were waiting to drop the name to like the week of or the week that it's happening, and now everybody's really excited for it. So, they save kids. so this week we have the 30 second challenge. It's coming back, and you are our lucky victim. Uh, oh, why? <laughs> yes, Kevin. Uh, Alex, I think, answered like 15. 15, yeah. So, what? you better like raise yeah, the Yeah, you bar. better. Okay, yeah, so like, you got you. Speak yeah. really quickly. Okay, wait. Ready? <laughs> yeah, you go like, just okay. go. And go. Favorite place you've traveled to? Mexico. Pants or shorts? Pants. You won the lottery, what would you buy? More money. iPhone or Android? iPhone. Favorite guilty pleasure food? Pizza. Starbucks order? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> <Coho. laughs> or Silo? Uh, 50 Coho. seconds. Favorite Disney movie? Tangled. Worst or hardest class you've taken at Davis? Uh, ENL 110B. Irrational fear? Uh, spiders. Dream car. Uh, Force Batmobile. Favorite YouTube Two. star? No one. Okay. Zero. We out. <laughs> okay. You How many questions is that? Finished twelve. Well, Alex. I, I spoke the fastest I could. I know. No, you, actually, you did great. I messed up. <laughs> yeah, but I, you did good too. Well, this has been an episode of Aggie Now. My name is Miguel Baxit. And I'm Sabrina. I'm Kevin Dusa. And I'm Nikki Magahis. Thanks for watching this week's episode. We'll see you next time.